when I wrote the script for The Silence in Between, which was a couple of months ago, I never dreamed that it would become as relevant as it has. And of course, that's, uh, it's, it's strange and it's unsettling. Uh, one of my premises is that we need to listen to silence more in music and in the world around us. But I never guessed that this health crisis would force us to live in a world where silence was suddenly much more important. And silence also took on an element of um, sometimes reassurance uh, in the sense that if things are quiet, then it's okay, but also sometimes danger because the quarantine and the uh, situation means that silence somehow has taken on an ominous feel. So fortunately, I don't, I don't discuss that very much in the, in the radio show, which is really about silence and music, but I think that this impacts on, on all of us when we listen to music. Uh, we need music a lot right now. Music helps us to survive in times of difficulty. Uh, and we need to think about what the music is telling us. And I deliberately chose music. I didn't choose much John Cage or anything. He's John Cage, of course, is associated with silence. He kind of defined musical silence. But I was more interested in choosing people like Mahler and, and Bruckner, people who are famous for their lush, big orchestrations. And, and I think the most amazing, amazing part of the whole project was when Sean Street came with this story about Notre Dame. I've worked in Notre Dame a lot. I lived across the river from Notre Dame in Paris for many years, and I could see the towers from my balcony. And this, uh, this LP is the actual live performance that Sean Street attended in 1967, the year I was born. And so somewhere in this photo, Sean is sitting there listening to this music, which he then found and we play on the radio show, and, and it's, it's a beautiful and mesmerizing story. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing about the album. The, the quality of the recording is really terrible. It was a live performance, and the, the equipment was not great. And I can also say that having recorded myself in Notre Dame, it's a terrible place to record. So, in a way, that becomes something more about the experience of silence than silence itself. But that, in the end, is the story I'm trying to tell. I hope you enjoy it. The Silence in Between on RTE Lyric FM, Sunday night. Thank you.